what up what up it's time for a new gameplay a new series y'all know what time it is man we are about to play alan wake 2 that is the intro let's get straight to it we're gonna play it on hard pause if applicable yes i clicked hard pause again back to the beginning all right i'm gonna we shut up come to a store so we can listen to this expectations looking for an answer sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. Disgusting. This nasty, hairy ass showing. What is this? What is this? Am I gonna have to censor this? Really? Am I gonna have to censor this? His whole ass is out. Filthy. Can I run? Oh yeah, we can. Wait. How did I? How did I just do that? Ah, okay. There we go. That is sick. Hey, bro, build like a barrel. This is crazy. Hey, Alan Wake, is that you? Boy, you put on a lot of weight. Damn. That is filthy. Filthy. Oh, God. Hey, boy, you need to pitch a pep in your step. Hurry up. Fat bastard. These graphics is nice. I'll tell you that much. I mean, the graphics was nice in the Alan Wake 1, too. Par for the course. Just a little bit. What the hell was that? Who was that? Huh? What is that? What? I heard that whispering. I heard it. Yeah, I'm not going to censor this. Like, it's just going to have to be what it is. You know what I mean? It's just going to have to be what it is. I'm the only one who do all the dead gum editing. Oh, my God. What the? This will be too, too much editing for me to do. I need an editor. That's what I need. I need a dead gum editor. If I had an editor, I would put more videos out, man. Let me move this light a little bit. It's kind of in my eye. Get the fuck out the way. There we go. There we go. That's better. That's better. Wait, what is happening right now? What the? This mug might be a little bit more scarier than the first one. And I like it. I would definitely like that if it was more scary than the first one. What? What was that? Hey, bro, you gotta run faster, man. You gotta run faster. You gotta find some clothes, cuz. That should be the main objective: finding some clothes for my man. Hey, they just walking in front of the light. How? How are they able to do that? How? 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 What the? F Wait a minute. What is that? Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, I'm. Oh yeah, I'm dead. Dead. It's over. Yep. That's it. It's over. Was that supposed to happen? Man, the cult. The cult of the world. What happened to the sound? Man. Oh, okay. Yes, 
Like the audio was messing up. Where's the rest of the stuff? Where's yeah, it's definitely jacking up. It's it's all glitched out. It's all effed up. It's not my fault. It's the game. It's the game. Okay, that was a lot. That was definitely a lot. Yeah, that was a lot. Apparently it's fixed now. Jeez, what an intro. <laughs> hey kiddo, how are you? I'm good mom, how are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan? I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town feels like the killer's leaving us a message mm. i'm glad you're on this case with me anderson it's right up your alley you should take lead think of me as the backup okay any words of advice nothing that would cheer anyone up Aldrin Lake. Time to get to work. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car. Okay, so I'm, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Okay. Return one, invitation. Okay, let's take a look at this. Get the uh, get to the crime crime scene, find the deputies. Uh, let's see. The map displays key locations in the area. Let's look at. Okay, see what we got here. Can we zoom in? Yes, we can. Why is it so blurry though? Is that what it's supposed to look like? <laughs> Yikes! Dude is still talking in the background. Thornton for safety. So I just looked it up while um, the hey, cutscene was going on, and apparently there is known audio issues with the game. Audio hey, sync issues, like lip sync issues, and then also sure, audio man. cutting out. Come so on. that's a thing. I thought maybe it was my computer. It is not. It is a known issue with the game. Anderson. And that's okay, as long as we can still play it. As right now, it seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Uh, shoot, sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I'm gonna do it for him. Oh, well, uh, 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 okay, it's back. The federal agents are right, right here, Thornton. <laughs> my partner, Thornton, down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed, Thornton. Right here? What do you mean? 
Are they with you? Ah, shit. They didn't hear me. Okay, that went quickly. I could use a brief ring. Any eyewitnesses to the crime? Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. Mention the city folk. It's pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. These dudes staring at me like that. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. But that sound like the dude who does the voice for um, Mr. Incredible, I think it is, and a bunch of other cartoons. Uh, I could use a briefing. What can you tell us about the crime <clears throat> scene? Was getting to that, Thornton. <laughs> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, but you know. All right, let me inside. In. Got you. Okay, let us through. Let us through. Come on. Get I the fuke out the way. How do we get there? Oh, sure. That's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence. Down the hill towards the lake around uh -huh. the old convenience store. Okay. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. They got it, Thornton. All right, thanks. Get out of the way. Appreciate it. All right. <clears throat> Meet Deputy Thornton scene, at the general time store. To the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Uh, you can access the case board inside the mine place. Okay. <laughs> the, the mine place. <laughs> My version of the mine palace take, uh, technique. Uh, to sift through the Building clues. The okay. Place again the for place. each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. Okay. The facts are on the board. Goals two. Get to the crime scene. Okay. Man, they got Everything me playing detective for real. <clears throat> Worth okay. taking another look. Can we zoom in? A case board, uh, the case board is a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze clues and progress the investigation. Can use, okay, yeah. Zoom, okay, got you. Most recent, uh, wait, what the? F you are now free to navigate the case board or leave by pressing B. Gotcha. Okay, well, let's take a look at some stuff. We have victims. All victims reported missing in 2010. No other commonalities. Okay, here are the victims. Ted Lane, Wendy Davis, Percy Wolf, Murder Method. Wait a minute. Let's look over here. Okay, this is the case. That's a fan. <laughs> Cauldron Lake Murders. Murder method. Slight difference in murders. Bloating only commonality in bodies, but not cause of death. Chest trauma. Exposure to water post uh, post mortem. Bruising on wrists and legs. Deep gash in the chest. All bodies experience bloating. Okay. Killer profile. Uh, post mortem tattooing of the body. The murder targets have no discernible common traits. Uh, chest trauma resembles animal butcher techniques. Well, that's not good. That can't be good. I'm pretty sure it's not. Okay, now the uh, texture decided to pop in for the map. All right, let's get to the game. How, oh, wait a minute. There's more stuff in the map. Oh, it's just a map. All right, let's I get out of here. You're already hard at work, Anderson. Inside of my mind's eye, I am. We're just getting started. Let's, let's head down there. the hill to the crime scene. I'm going to go check something out. Be right back. Good. Yeah, let's see what's up in here. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Hey, you got a gun. Shoot that butt. A creepy this? twig sculpture? Mmm, looking like I might be having to look for clues or something. Really be a detective in this game. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective Find more clues. than I am. <laughs> You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. All right, I'm trying to read this. Slow you down. I'm trying to read this. retiring? Casey, I'm... You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm hmm. Real <laughs> funny. Same Anderson. time. Jinx. Okay. Uh, Bright Falls' own virtual baking champ. Little Sally Upton's whole family erupted into cheers. Blah, blah, blah. Bright Falls, congratulations. That probably may not be important. I don't think it is. Let's get the hell out of here. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. Watch them knees, cuz. Watch them knees and them bad hips. Oh. Yo, he grunting. 
Mirror, mirror peak. Zoom on that hoe. Can I look at that? Wrong button. No, didn't want to go there either. Oh, okay. Mirror Peak, the mighty mountain in the distance is no other than Mirror Peak, the iconic landmark overlooking Cauldron Lake. From the right angle, its beauty will be reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all its inverted glory. Good to know, I suppose. Probably not. Nature. You don't like nature, Casey? What's up, man? How can you not like nature? Too much sky. Bro, you need to get out here and get some vitamin D. You look pale as hell. Look how pale you look. Get out here and get some sun, even though it's pretty cloudy. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting weird thing to, to say. Nature is your thing. Very weird thing to say. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. Hey, dude, you it's hella depressing. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? <laughs> if they did, the next coffee's on me. I'll be back in a second. Yeah, let me see what's down here. I'm being nosy in the mud, but I guess to be a detective, you kind of got to be nosy, right? Just a little bit. See what's down here in the creek. I'm walking all up in the water. Getting my boots wet. Ah, what do we have here? Hmm. Hmm. Gear is what we have. See, look, 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 look. I bet a lot of people didn't even come down here and look. Old boots did. That's right. I think I'm lost. I don't. I don't know where where I'm at. The witch's hut. Here lived the witch of Cauldron Lake. Beware, her spirit may still haunt this place. I don't believe the rumors. Let's get up in this hole. I don't believe the rumors at all. What this witch got in her house? Little rope. Probably for doing bad, harmful things with. Nothing around here. Okay. Well. All right, and there you have it. It's empty. Well, oh, yep, I'm lost. Uh, don't know where my partner went, but there are more things out here. Is everything supposed to be blurry like this? Are the textures just not popping in? Friday, Midge told me that her family's moving away. This sucks. I haven't told her that I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents would not uh, get better jobs and get her to a better school in the big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to stay in bright fucking falls? <laughs> so I told her. She said, thanks. You can kill me. Monday, I snuck out last night, went to the big house by the lake instead of just watching it from here like I always do. Instead of just sitting around like I always do. Screw that. Anyway, something weird is going down there. I'm going to find out what. I'm going to go back there tomorrow with better gear. I bet I can find a way inside the building. Take some photos. It's going to be epic. He died. I'm pretty sure of it. Let's see what you got over here in this little briefcase. It looks like batteries. Is that a kid's that a... lunchbox? Hmm. Where you looking? Maybe right here. An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. It is okay. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. <laughs> he hates those cheesy crime books. Okay, but he I really kn hates the movies. I know things can get a little crazy around here, but if you've ever but if you are ever feeling scared, just remember that Alan is watching over us. Wait, Alan? Manuscript fragments. I found a manuscript fragment. Manuscript fragment can be used to upgrade weapons in the mine place. You know what? See, I'm glad I came over here. We got weapon upgrades. I still don't know why the textures are taking really long to pop in. Whatever. Okay, let's see if we can find our way back to our partner. Which is ladle. There is no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape. And yet... There are many uh, mysterious stories about the lake. It being a gloomy doorway to the underworld or of a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. The legend tells that when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but, dropped, but her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named Witch's Ladle. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers as she was not a witch before she is now. Uh, she killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. Then she took out his heart and locked it in a box. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf. Or so the legend goes. That is a wild legend for a place. That's craziness. That is real craziness. 
Let's see if we can find his heart in a box. Damn, man, I'm all lost in this enchanted ass forest. I gotta find my way back to my partner, Casey. <laughs> Haha, I found more letters. How do you like the knitting, hero? Uh, I had it made just for you. I don't really care about that. Just give me the manuscript, shfagbrick. Sh wow, so, uh, I'm not sure if this is where I'm supposed to be, but it does look like the crime scene. And I'm walking all in it and through it. Did you get lost, Anderson? I, I did, actually. I did get lost. <laughs> I absolutely got lost. Ended up here by accident. Yeah, I'm going to have to censor this. Deputy Thornton, I take it. Apparently, he's not going to respond. Do I need to walk up on you? Guess not. Okay. Yeah. That's me. Wow, that was a delayed response. The way. Now, this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now, we didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Yeah, don't get too close. Table. Got a sensor. Ritualistic. You unlock your first key image. You can place it on the case board inside your mind place. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, D pad allows Saga to see active clues. The key image can be selected with A in place. Okay. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Uh huh. Coincidence? Maybe. Who knows? Another body has been found in the woods near Bright Falls. Perfect timing. Need to see if this is linked to the killings. We're here to investigate. Okay. Placing a key image on the case board begins a new line of investigation. When the key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. Objectives are viewable at the case board and your goals. Investigate the crime scene. You're now free to examine the case board or leave with V to complete this objective. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Playing real detective here. You can collect clues from the body to progress the investigation. The killer okay. left the heart right next to the body. That's crazy. Okay. Can I, did I pick that up? You can click. Okay. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Mm-hmm. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. Zoom in there. We don't want to get his little, you know what I mean? In the in the in the frame. Then we have to do more sensory. Alright, let's go back to the chess board. Or whatever it's called. Newly discovered clues can be placed onto the open question. Gotcha. Alright, got them all lined up. Strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders okay. that we know about. Okay, the clues have resolved the open question and unlocked a deduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. Consistent with previous murders? Yes, the victim, the killers. Uh, you can check the updated goals by pressing Y. Okay. Investigate the crime scene, learn more about the victim, learn more about the killer. Hey, y'all ain't gonna help me investigate or y'all just gonna let me do this all in my mind's eye while y'all stand around and look doofy. I guess y'all just gonna stand around and look doofy. And why does he kind of look like the villain in Half-Life 2? Look at his face. It's creepy looking. Neither here nor there. Okay, let's see what we got Someone here. Someone was drinking beer. Mm -hmm. They spent time here waiting mm, okay wait a minute there was something over there too bundle of sticks or something Someone what is this left in a hurry knock the tripod oh, over it's a tripod that is not a Was bundle a of sticks that is, that's a tripod <laughs> okay let's go back to our mind's eye go to the case board for later okay well never mind looking for more multiple clues people were here multiple killers Mm, okay, we're putting two and two together, maybe two and three, possibly, hopefully. Any idea who the victim is? What the hell was they talking about? I sure do. 
His name is Nightingale. He was FBI, came down about 13 years ago. Haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now, Nightingale. Oh, yeah, you probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Clues can be discovered by speaking to people as well as by examining your surroundings. Makes sense. Okay. Hopefully the audio was no longer messed up after I ask a uh, Half-Life 2 villain what the hell is happening. So you knew our victim. It's not. Didn't recognize him in the current state, but yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. It's together. After his partner got okay, killed, he's got in the it field, together. He went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Uh, what happened after he got fired? So what yeah. happened to Nightingale after the bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze. Booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head. Chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Uh, so Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably Some scary shit was going on. Wants to forget. Okay. I found a strange lunchbox. Who left this here? I should keep an eye out for the others. The note inside mentions making knitting just for me. How do they know I knit? Or maybe just a kawinky dink. The note inside mentions Alan. Alan Wake? What the hell are these? Okay. Okay, so I think we've investigated. Large amount of blood on the table. Oh, maybe not. The victim died here. I think that's everything. I can't see For now, at least. Mm-hmm. Anything clicking yet? Not sure. Need to think about it. Ah, here we go. Six clues. Murder at Cauldron Lake. Let's see what we got here. Go ahead and start our investigation. Victim is Robert Nightingale, last seen. Okay, yeah, we know that. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came uh -huh. to Great Falls 13 years ago. Mental state questionable at time of disappearance. Multiple footprints set. Killers, maybe? I think so. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Uh, premeditated or spontaneous? We have evidence. Set that shite down. Looks new. Brought by the killers. Why? To mount a camera? Weird snuff film? Okay. Oh, Cold beers Nothing and all that. To happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. Okay. They were waiting for him. Okay. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Okay, I guess we got to find more clues. <laughs> this is definitely not how I expected this game to start getting to the subject's head. Mm -hmm. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. You better know about the You can use profiling inside Saga's mind place to get inside the heads of suspects and victims. <laughs> this is crazy. This is why is this all a thing? I hope this plays well into the rest of the game. Using her intuition, women's intuition. Ha! Of course. Like that's really a thing. Using her intuition, Saga can discover uh, new clues by profiling people of interest. <laughs> uh, missing person? Ritual murder? Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A Nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. 
Okay. Go ahead and sit that down. Nightingale came from uh, Cauldron Lake. I can feel that Nightingale came from the lake, but why now? After 13 years, where has he been? Check the lake shore is what it says. We need two more clues. Okay. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. I mean, this is like real this detective work. Anderson. Not what I expected so far. The lake. I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's yeah, I not just that complicated. Need to spend a little bit more uh, mind games in my mind place. The killers knew he was here. Ambushed him. Dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't hey, figured man, that I'm, part out yet. I'm trying to do this. I'm, I'm trying to. Lots of questions. Yes, lots, lots of answers for us to find. That too. I didn't know trees got that big. This is a big ass tree. You need to get out more. Mug is huge. It is kind of creepy though. Okay, let's look at the damn clues. Y'all talking too much. Are you gonna pick it up or are we just gonna let it rock? <laughs> Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript. Page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt, like a message. felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. Manuscript pages can be read inside Saga's Mind Palace. Page. If you're stuck Maybe or unsure how to proceed, don't forget to check the mind Hope place. Hope didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna ignore y'all once again, just for a few minutes. Go back into my mind palace. Too many unknowns doesn't make sense. Asking wrong questions. Nightingale came from Cauldron Lake. Uh, trail has gone cold. Footprints emerging from under a rock. Anything else here? So the killer is watching us. Game on, she says. <laughs> okay, figure out what happened to Nightingale. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. So we're gonna dig inside his chest meat? Nightingale says something inside of him. Okay. Sit that right there. Okay. All I can here. Found all I can here. Properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Okay. Let's exit our mind place. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. I thought she was about to dig inside his chest right now. Guess you can do that now. 
Yeah, let's, Deputy, let's do that now. I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Sure. Coroners won't be in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Odeer Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up mm -hmm. the hill. Okay. Yeah, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. I'll take that. Shortcut key. Thanks. Take the car back to Bright Falls. All right. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera? To record a, a snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Ooh, that mug is floating. That car is floating. It wasn't even on the ground. Damn. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Bright Falls, How Washington. How have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> Hold on, where is it at? The diner. Oh, yeah, Coffee World, right there. Let's go up in this bish. Get us a tall latte or something. Get the fuke out of my way. We need coffee FBI. and donuts, cuh. Welcome to Bright Falls. Look at his face. It's nice to have you here. I got you both What's wrong with your face? Oh, Washington's finest. Uh, something's wrong with your face. There's something in your eye there. I'm Agent Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. <laughs> Tim Breaker. And let me here. just say how happy I, I am for you to be here. Help. Okay, now it's working. I was told there was witnesses. Your deputy witnesses. said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. All right, let me get through there, sir. Thank you very much. I can't believe that happened. I still feel like I'm going to be sick. Come on, Ed. Have some pie. I made you Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy and oh, he's sure. Ed. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? Uh, why were you at Cauldron Lake? I think what that's a good question. What were you doing at Cauldron Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down mm. at the lake, getting some okay. details. Perfectly legal. Her saying perfectly legal just mm, wasn't necessary. Can you tell me what you saw? What did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake. <laughs> Yikes. He was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny. Skinny David at dawn is a thing down there. They were he shooting. He ran into these cycles okay. and deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. Uh, why do you think it was what a cult? What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and Her knives eyes. aren't enough. Uh. I mean, they were shouting 
cold of the tree. The cold of the tree. Cold of the tree. Uh, oh, and then we found a... Ridiculous. The whole thing was... Terrible. What was that about? What? That's all. Okay. Think, who the hell is that? Good to see who. What? Guess I can go back into my mind's eye. Got some manuscript pages. Okay, here we go. The Bookers. The Code of the Tree. Let's see what this is. The Code of the Tree. Something what are the bookers telling me? Found a necklace. The symbol is two triangles. Uh huh. The code. Want that spruce tree back, Tammy? Find his keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to the uh, one of the cultists. Okay. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? Fence was built to hide what's there. Say the writer fell in the lake. Alan Wake. Private party. Uh huh. My book has questions. They broke Passed into the, the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with the murder. Uh, they okay. The truth. How does she know this by going into her mind's eye? I'm not really sure. If, you know what? Never mind. Let's just. I think you found something there, right? A necklace. These cultists may have okay. dropped. Wow. How did you put that together? Because, bitch, I went inside my mind and found it. Hand that shite over. Told you not to keep that thing, Tammy. Yeah, don't be trying to obstruct justice, Tammy. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Who are you? <laughs> Saga don't, I don't even know, know who the hell this lady is. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned your daughter that's so weird you don't remember how do you know i have a daughter oh i know what this is you're blocking out your traumatic memories happens on tv all the time no you're mistaking me for someone else <laughs> if you say so Hey, that's hella intrusive. How this bitch gonna tell me I'm blocking out some traumatic memories? <laughs> that's crazy. All set. My guys uh, have radio at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. <laughs> Have you heard of this cult of the hey, tree? Hey, I feel him. I wouldn't want to do Only that, uh, deal with that either. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not going to find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Nerd! Looks like you have Playing some D&D. &D. Ah, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deer fest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. All right, go to the Moore's examination hey, room. Okay. Works downstairs ready to go. Thanks, appreciate yeah. that. In the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Why is this dude always blocking way, a door or a gate somewhere? Get the hell out the way. He's just always blocking something. Well, this something. is the Bright Falls Sheriff's Station. Anything you need, just uh, 
Let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. Y'all walking too damn. Look, we need to go talk to you, cuz. Yep, that's where we're going. Something about morgues. Can I get in here? Thank you. Thank you. Open listening. the further mug and He's joking. <laughs> Look at me being nosy. Checking doors right in their face. <laughs> Trying to get into places. Okay. Ah, okay, here we go. Let's take a look at outpatient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. Sensor, sensor, sensor. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? Oh man, now this has turned to uh that more game that we play, Mortuary Assistant. Here. Can't make it out. Writing. How'd they manage that? This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Defensive wounds. He put up a fight. Aha. Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. <laughs> How can you the tell? The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. All right, guys, excuse me once again while I go into my mind's eye, add things to my uh, little case board. Damn, this case board getting hella long, ain't it? Anything to learn from the body? Yes, we have multiple things. Body has been prepped, ready for examination. What did that say? Hope we can, uh, hope we can provide some actual answers. Okay, <clears throat> drop this here. Mm-hmm. Victim was alive, was trapped down. Timeline is inconsistent with bloating. As I suspected, it looks like something was put in there inside his chest meat. Chest wound is cause of death. Mm -hmm. But the corpse is bloated, waterlogged. Doesn't add up. Ritual writing? Smudge text under victim's skins. Uh, is this some kind of tattoo? It's too smudged to read. There's definitely something in his chest. Uh, I mean, get to it already. Damn, open his chest up. Jeez, you think it's something there? Get to it. Exam Nightingale's body, examine it. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's what we're trying to get to. Jeez. Golly. I'm definitely going to have to send you this. One hundo. Is that a wallet? What the hell? Or is that just a picture? Paper? I really need them to send an update for the game to fix these damn audio issues. Nightingale haunted saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. Please fix these audio issues. This is so terrible. It is taken away from the damn game with these bum ass audio issues. What the hell is happening right now? The dude just get raptured? What the hell just happened? <laughs> Show me the clicker. He 
He's coming. He's, coming. He's a coming. No, no weapon. weapon. What the hell happened to your gun? The page said to get into the light. Try to stay in the light to avoid being detected by enemies. Hey, yo, what happened? What 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 happened to your gun? You definitely had a gun. Hide from Nightingale. Uh, hiding the light or? Hey, that's kind of funny. <laughs> My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Hmm. And how are we gonna do that? Let's do that. Uh, safe havens will restore some of your health. If you leave uh, or attack from a safe haven while in combat, it will become temporarily unavailable. Gotcha. Go. Go where? Oh, Shiza. I'm dead. I'm dying. It's over. Damn, just snapped her neck like a twig. She told me to go, so I went. Wow, look at this guy. No textures at all. What? He looking at him like, what the fuck happened to your face? <laughs> uh, we're gonna go ahead and end this gameplay of Alan Wake right here. Of course, we're gonna continue to play, even with some of the issues. And uh, yeah, we'll see where this goes. Hopefully it goes somewhere better than what it has been so far in the first hour and a half as always thank y'all for stopping by checking your boy puss and boots out man y'all know what to do i'm out this piece deuces